Hello beautiful Pisces! Welcome back to Intuitive Energy. So we're looking at the month of July. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it is going to be an empowering month for you, a month of enlightenment. Um, there, you're going to get moments of pure clarity is what um, I'm seeing here, what I'm feeling. So we're going to go ahead and pull some tarot for the first week of August. And if you haven't seen um, the reading this morning, I suggest that you go watch it first and then come back to see this one. Um, because it has, um, well, it's kind of one goes after the other. Right? So it'll be a lot more clear for you if you watch the first one and then follow through with this one. So if you go on my playlist page, on my page that has um, where my insignia for the channel is wherever you can find it probably near the title just click on that it'll bring you to the playlist of my home page just watch the video before this one it should be in the very first row or somewhere near about okay all right so the first week of august is a door to personal healing and happiness and forgiveness so it's saying to look at things in a perspective of um forgiving people for things that have happened in your life because they've brought you to this path okay ultimately you don't know how far or how deep or how long you've been going on this path that get is gotten you to this point right now okay I know that a lot of things in my life have gotten me to this point right now in essence I talked about a story about a stuffed elephant this morning so that's why you want to watch the video this morning so there's a lot of stuff that made me go out on my own and not rely on securities that I felt and I've forgiven the people that I felt did me wrong in fact they give they did give me they did do me a great justice by pushing me out of that security so that I could find security within myself. And this is the door to personal healing and happiness. This is the door where you open things up and you open things up. That's exactly it. You open the doors and everything that was hidden is now being revealed. You see things in different shades of not just hurt and pain, but of truth and journey and everything that is with it. So this is a major opening of your heart, of your uh, of your life. Right. The Queen of Cups, okay, comes in. Somebody who has it all together emotionally, okay. Um, you're understanding your emotions and by understanding your own emotions this week, you're going to help other people see. Because when you have these moments of clarity, you're going to be sharing it with other people and people will then uh, take parts, bits and pieces of what you're saying and carry on their journey that maybe is going to continue their own journey is what I'm seeing, okay? It's like you're giving them a piece of their puzzle that they're going to walk away with, okay? They may not be at the same point as you, but what you're telling them will um, be carried with them to help them gain perspective on their own lives, okay? <clears throat> You're kindly listening to yourself and to everything that's happened in your life, okay? You're finally counseling yourself is what I'm hearing here. You're finally understanding everything that you've gone through and you're giving yourself your own counseling, your own understanding of things, right? You're shedding light on the illusions that have been plaguing you, things that maybe you thought were clear but weren't really that clear. It's about gaining sharp focus. And how do you do that? You do that with the light. You do that with energy. The Queen of Wands, she's the Queen of Light. She holds the light. She has the flame. So she carries it with her and she brings it forward. Okay? So there's a lot of clarity, a lot of breaking down illusions, a lot of understanding that everything is happening for a reason and everything that has happened to you has happened with reason in mind. There's been a journey to be had here, okay? There's been something for you to follow um, and to be guided by. So this week is going to be the week of you realizing this, okay? And that is really, really nice, okay? Look at that. You're turning the wheel of fortune in your favor by doing this. You're centering yourself and your world. 
and you will be able, this is a lesson that's going to be so good for you because anytime your world starts spinning out of control you're going to be able to um, kind of guide it in the uh, direction that you want it. Okay, so this is good stuff. This enlightenment's coming in, and I can't explain it to you in terms that you'll understand specifics because it is so broad the spectrum of how it's going to affect your life and how you live it that it would take too long. There could be so many different ways that this could affect you. Okay, the thing is, is that you can't. <clears throat> The secret is not to know everything. The secret is to trust everything that you're going through is ultimately leading you where you need to be. That is that is the word here. Okay. Okay, so for the second week we had instinct and unfinished symphony. And this is the time. This is a completion of sorts. Okay, this, you, you have the world card very much in here, I feel. Like you are, you're getting to a point where you're, you're hitting those last notes of, of a, per, a particular song in your life, okay? And that is good. And it's saying to continue following your instincts, okay? You're getting help. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Everything gaining sharp focus. Leading you to it with the Ace of Swords. Definitely. I feel that you are doing such great breakthroughs now. You couldn't really see the notes. You couldn't really find them. But they're coming in now. You see, they're, they're, they're gaining clarity. They're just off in a distance here. Okay. All you have to do is grab them. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very very it's going to get very very clear for you. Right. Another ace ace cups. Mhm. Mm very nice. Fresh starts. Okay. Spiritual growth at the umpteenth level if you want to call it. Okay, this is the birth of something new, right? And it has to do with your beginnings. The Six of Cups always represents the part of your life where you were the most innocent for me. It's always the part of your life before everything got complicated. And it's always the key to everything. It's always the key. Underneath the deck, the Queen of, of Wands is coming through again. She's trying to shed light on the situation, okay? You're really trying to get... Light is, is trying to find its way so that you can get to where you need to be. Okay? I feel that you are really doing all of this right now in a very meaningful way for your life. Absolutely. You're finishing that symphony, whatever it is, whether it's moving on, whether it's getting out of something, whether it's getting into something new, there's definitely movement going on for you, and there has been. You know where you want to be. Ultimately, it's knowing now. It's not being in the dark. You know what needs to be done. You're not sure what that's going to look like, though. That's the, that's the thing. This is brand new territory. This keeps coming through for the month of August. Okay, you're getting a harvest, but the harvest is is enlightenment and knowledge of yourself. You might surprise. You might be surprised of where that leads you. It's nowhere you've ever been before. This is what I'm feeling. This is nowhere you've been before, but you know ultimately that it's right. Right. It's leading you out of oppression. The third week of August always, like I said, felt like you're looking at this dry desert a little bit off kilter. Okay? You feel a little burdened by the fact that there's nothing there. The stress, you, the, the stress, the obligations, the priority, the weight, it's been on you so long for the little stuff of the world, the big stuff of the world. You're human reality that now that you've cleaned house figuratively 
you are a little bit off kilter, okay? It's it's like cleaning a house and realizing that once you got rid of everything you didn't want, there was not very much left. There's it's almost too it's almost scary how little there is left. Okay? You just realize that you burden yourself so much. It's almost like unnecessarily, but for a moment you're going, oh crap, what did I just do? Everything is gone. But you know that's where you were supposed to do, what you were supposed to be doing. Okay? It's almost like instead of focusing on the one wand, you got rid of them all. Not just, not, you don't have just one wand, you don't have any of the ten in this burden. So you're standing there with nothing to do. This is what I feel. I feel that at one point in this week you're going to go, wow, I got rid of too much or I did too much and now there's nothing left. But that's not true. Because there's a different direction for you to be going and none of it was focusing on any of this stuff. It's gone because it's supposed to be gone. Okay, there's other things to focus on. A brand new way of thinking. Something that you've never thought of before because you were too busy. You were too busy just trying to, um, with the with the stuff, with the brainstormings, with all the problems, all the conflicts, all the, the tests you had to solve, all the potential problems, everything, uh, the communication that was going around. It was just keeping you busy. Um and taking away from what really had to be looked at. This week is, is uh, even this morning when I was doing, this week is going to be so profoundly eye-opening. Okay? This one is going to be, it's going to be a big one. You're going to, you're going to be so grateful. There's so much underneath the surface. There's so much, like the third eye is going to really... You're going to be so grateful in the end, right? You're going to be you're going to be planning something brand new. You're going to be leaving something behind. There's that eight of cups, but you're planning something brand new. You're going to be there's going to be long term plans coming in, okay? Preparation and the first optimistic steps towards something brand new, okay? Just remember, be grateful. Uh, they're, the reason they're emphasizing so much on this one, okay, this week, Pisces, is to let you know that <clears throat> whatever you're looking at here, okay, persevere through it. Don't, don't give up. Don't get scared. It's because they don't want you to feel um, frustrated thinking that you failed somehow when you look around and everything is gone. And you suddenly have nothing to do. In, in the physical, in the, you know, like, like I said, you've dusted, you've cleaned, there's nothing left. Let's say in this room, I got rid of everything, including cards, and there was just a table for me to sit at. I would think to myself, oh my God, I made a grave mistake, I have no more decks. <clears throat> there's something else that they needed you to look at, okay? The emptiness of the table to go deep within yourself. Maybe the cards lie within yourself, okay? The guidance, the cards that clarify everything. There's something else that you're not looking at that's actually there. And it isn't a mistake, okay? Nothing is a mistake. There's a reason for every single thing. And I'm not getting rid of my cards. I'm just trying to give you something where you'd say, Well, that makes no sense, Jane. Why would you give up all your cards? That's what you do. Yes, but that's what I was compelled to do. And I did it. But now I'm second-guessing myself because it's scary. It's a scary new place to be at, okay? Maybe my whole point, let's say the cards are gone, is for me to touch somebody's hands and get something from them. Our spirits merging and then speaking through spirit that way. I have no clue if I could do that or not, but maybe that is. And that's what spirit is saying. Look deeper. There's something else and you didn't make a mistake, okay? So it's very important in this third week. This is, this is, uh, yeah, this is the third week of, holy crap, I'm scared, what just happened there? It's okay, you're doing fine, you're doing beautifully, and you're going exactly where you're supposed to be going, okay? 
great. I think I ruined this. Look, you have the Ten of Cups upside down. It's like, oh no, what did I do? I took control of it and I completely blasted away my, my happiness. No, that's not it. You did not. You did not blow away your happiness. Everything is fine. All right. So in the last week, right, brand new, brand new, brand new, wandering path. Don't let the Page of Swords uh, trip you up. Don't let the Page of Swords communicate and lie to you, say, telling you that you need to do a certain thing. There's a fox there. For me, that's like the one that's, you know, skittish, scared, and talks you into uh, fear. So don't. Take the Page of Swords the other way. There's two two sides to the Page of Swords. It's a brand new um, it's, it's a brand new adventure. Okay? It's somebody who's got great ideas. Um, it's somebody who's brand new ease of learning and new skills. Somebody who has great con concentration. Okay? So just don't talk yourself out of things. Be impartial in everything that you do in this last week, right? A brand new idea is coming in, okay? We've, this, this could easily just talk about the entire month of August, okay? Something new, you're going to be so inspired to begin something new. This is the initial stages of something wonderful coming in for you Pisces, okay? It's really going to, right? It's going to, it's, you're going to need to adapt, and you've got that here too. You have the two paint cans that she is, um, that she is balancing here and you got the two of pentacles here so it's going to require for you to think outside the box is what I'm thinking think outside the box and enjoy the journey don't don't make it too complicated okay right okay so um right okay this one was actually at the bottom of the deck but it fell out and then I looked and it was this one. So what I'm getting from that with the Two of Wands is thinking innovatively, okay, uh, but it is upside down. So it's you may not be able to glimpse the bitter, bigger picture because this is glimpsing the bigger picture this way. You may not be able to see the bigger picture right away, okay, but they're saying to trust your path by the way you feel. Okay, so I am going to use this one. I'm going to use the Two of Cups as the defining under the deck card because I do feel that's what it's saying. Don't go for the Two of Wands upside down. Go for the Two of Cups that's right side up and follow your uh, sense of bliss, your sense of knowing. It's going to be a sense of knowing. You're going to have less fear and more. Wow, this feels really liberating and cool. And I think that is the whole point to the month of August. You're liberating yourself from the old and you're really jumping in to the new. Something that will bring you a lot of happiness. Yeah. Definitely a brand new journey of some sort. Some of you it's going to be something really, really big. My high vibe thoughts create health in my body, peace in my mind, and love in my heart. Right. Focus on everything here that really is contributing to this okay this is your intuitive guide to if you're going in the right direction okay not anticipation and a little bit of fear you know that anticipating fear like oh god what am i doing it's more that uh because that can that can scare you that can scare you and it can be very much the page of swords um that's the only one that I have a hard time in. As Pisces, man, do we listen to him. Because we uh, we get skittish. That's that's the word right there. We skitter. Woo! We skitter. We're scared. Wow, this is brand new. This is too much. You know, you feel like going, too much, too much. I don't know what to do with this. Too much. So, um, they're saying to you, uh, vibe high. Vibe in gratitude. And remember that if it creates health, peace and love inside of you, you're good to go. Okay? So, this is, I'm putting that one under the door to personal healing for the week one. So, it's always a good reminder, always a good reminder, okay, to follow those cues. Because a lot of us don't, we don't follow those cues. We just kind of walk around thinking, oh God, I'm so scared.
Okay, so let's pull a card for week two. They're taking their time. They're picking the card. Which card? Ooh, okay. Let me be still today and listen to the truth in silence. Oh, unfinished symphony. Trust your instinct. Be still today and listen to the truth in silence. Right. Listen to your truth. Okay. This is this is so important. I like this. And you have the the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands coming in to shine in the truth in your situation. Yeah. So just just really listen to yourself. Really listen to yourself. Really listen. Symphony music, listening music, ears, ears open. Okay. Week two. Very, very important. Okay. So dry desert, week three. That week, that week is going to be the one. My creative workshop process works for me. If you will use your time with an intention to collect data that you may bring into your creative workshop, you will find every day to be one of fun, not fear. Yes, that's right, okay? Yes, that's right. Because this this one is going to give you pause. Okay? But remember, this is a creative workshop process. This you are creating your new life, your new way of thinking. And there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. You know where you're going, you know what you're doing. Okay? Even if the room is completely empty and you're standing there totally in anticipated, like, a holy shit moment is what I'm feeling here. You are creating stuff regardless if there's nothing there, okay? So they're reminding you, have fun. Have fun with it. Don't be afraid of new. Don't be afraid of the creative process. Don't be afraid of the new direction you're going. Have fun with it. Have fun. Life is an adventure for you to have. Have fun. Okay? Okay, this one. I want continual joyous growth. Beautiful. Okay. This one says, I'm a growth-seeking being. It is exhilarating to remember that expansion is not only natural but inevitable. I love knowing that joy is simply a choice. So since my expansion is inevitable, I choose to have it in joy. Right. Wander, be impartial, follow your path, be adaptable. New things are coming in. Wandering path, enjoy the journey. Beautiful. Okay? Do it. Underneath they had the, I understand the rules of the game of life. So I like this. This is like you getting um, a really great pin, a great moment of a pin, of like a great aha. I, I, I keep saying aha moment, but I, it's so much bigger than that. It's a moment of clarity. Okay, your moments of clarity are few and far between. This is definitely a month of clarity. If July was a month of, of moving forward in what you were doing, August is definitely a month of putting it all together, okay? You're just bringing it all together to understand. Week three is going to be the big one, okay? The one where you're going to go, holy moly, what's happening here? But it is a great week for you. It is a great week for you. Just let it in. Face that fear and look at it for what it is. Even if you're standing in a quiet desert where there is absolutely nothing there for you to look at, or at least that's what you think, there is something there. Just wait. Just see. Just trust yourself. Trust yourself, Pisces. Okay? All right, so that's it. This has been your reading for the month of August. How fun and inspirational. Um, uh, yeah, if, um, yeah. We're really going to have to study this on the third week. And when we do, I hope you guys comment a lot and let me know what that, those moments, of those, those gloriously scary yet so revealing moments become in your lives. I am so excited to find out. And I'm going to send you lots of love, light, and blessings. And thank you so much for being here. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. 
take care of yourself, and I will see you tomorrow where we're going to study uh, this first week of, of August um, and uh, how you're healing. I feel this is a big healing and personal healing and happiness kind of week where uh, there's a lot there's a lot that you've uh, figured out, okay? And um, yeah, you're just moving forward. You're just working so hard at everything. Anyway, we're going to look at that tomorrow. Take care of yourself, Pisces. Love and light and peace and 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 happiness and blessings and and stay safe as always take care <laughs>